Hi! What's going on, kings and queens? It is Royal Gilly here from Team Royal Gaming. Hope you guys are doing fantastic, super fucking great. I am here with a friend of mine. He's kinda like me. You know why he's kinda like me? This is my friend Murphy. What's up? What's going on, everybody? And you know what we fucking do? We're fucking weird guys who both do the same thing. Talk about our life on YouTube, talk about stories and just random ass shit that goes on in our lives. And you guys can check out his channel, it is in the description. This is a series that I used to do on my, uh, on my channel back in the day. And it is fun. You know why it's fun? I come up with three questions to ask this fucking guy, and then he comes back and slaps me with three more. And you know, you just get a little taste. You get some flavor of fucking personality in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. It's great. It's a really, really awesome experience. I call this shit 3 on 3, but more so it's just a commentary. A dual commentary with some fucking nice ass dudes. But you got three questions, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Alright, you know what? I think you should start with the first question. Alright, so um, the first question is, it's going to relate to your story you just told them. <laughs> yep. Did the cow meat really feel like a real vagina? Well, it felt, it felt very lubricated. I mean, it didn't feel great, it's cold, it's been in the freezer and shit. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, I'll tell you, you put your dick in there, it's just, whoa, it's slippery, it's, it's probably only slippery because of the blood. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, mm -hmm. lubricated, it, uh, it, it felt like, it felt kind of good because it was like skin. It was like the inside of your mouth, but if that mouth was chopped up with some scissors and that fucking bitch was chewing on some razor blades and then you put your dick in there. That's what it felt like. But cold too. Damn. Yeah, so not really that pleasurable. Yeah. Okay, my turn to ask a question. Alright. Alright. Mr. Murphy? What's going on? You there? Yeah, yeah. If you were a girl for a day, who would you want to fuck you <laughs> in the ass? Oh my, oh my damn, okay, shit, this one's going to be hard to think about, but, damn, I don't want this to sound too homo or anything, but, I don't know if it's homo, man, I already got my answer, like, you're a, you're a bitch, you want some dick, you are a girl for a day, it can be some celebrity, it can be some fucking black dude, yeah. If I'm a girl, I am trying to get dicked the fuck down. A celebrity? <laughs> no, yeah, whoever you want. Who would I want? Damn. Who's the guy that does ridiculousness? Uh, Rob Deerdeck. Rob Deerdeck. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. With it. I'll... I mean, yeah, he's got the money. Alright, yeah. I, I would go with Rob Deerdeck. Cool. Good answer. Good answer. Go ahead and ask the second mole phone question. Alright. Okay, you ready for this one? Yes. This one might go deep, but it might won't. So, um... Like emotional? Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. this one might get a little emotional. Oh, shit. Would you rather have world peace, or would you rather stop world <coughs> hunger? Um... Huh. Damn, dog. See, honestly, I'm not that hungry. I get fed. I just ate some delicious-ass Mexican food that my mom brought home. Thank you, mom. I don't experience world hunger like it's out there. I'm aware. Shh, not to sound like a fucking douchebag about it. <laughs> but if world peace was existing and it was real, we wouldn't be worried about like slitting each other's fucking throats and shit. We'd be like, damn, there's some hungry ass people over there. And so basically, I get to kill two birds with one stone with this bitch. Because if you got pick world peace, we're world peace and we're worrying about world hunger. Damn, that, that was a good decision, man. Not smart. Thank you. Alright, I'm gonna ask my second question. Murphy, you know, there's gonna be something that pops up in your mind. I think. I hope. What's something embarrassing that happened to your ass? Like, just super most embarrassing shit where it's hard to talk about it because it's so embarrassing and it's hard to admit it because it's like a deep, dark, some shit that happened. Damn. <laughs> I want to know. I want to know so bad. 
No, dude. I have quite a bit, actually. I have a lot of embarrassing moments, actually, in my life. The most, from one side of the scale, sitting in your room, completely comfortable, to the other side, utter embarrassment. <laughs> okay, so, um... Okay, it was one day, um, I was hanging out with a couple friends, and my parents and my brother and sister weren't home, so I was locked out, right? And I really needed to take a shit. So, um, we went, like, we were all hanging out, and we were in the back of my old apartments where I used to live, you know, and there was right. a ton of, like, trees and stuff. Um, we used to call it the forest, it was kind of where we hung out and stuff. And, um, damn, I really needed to take a shit, so... I, I thought about it, I was like, okay, so maybe if we just play hide and seek or something, you know, I can go quickly take his shit, oh. and, um, you know, just... Did you get caught up? So, this is what happened. Um, you know, we were we were all hanging out, and I told them, like, yo, I gotta go do something real quick, I'll be right back. So <laughs> I went, um, I went, and I ran, and I hid behind the bushes, kind of. It was kind of an open, like, more open uh -huh. spot than it, it was closed. So, while I was taking a shit, my friends were walking and I didn't want them to see me, right? So I was kind of trying to like, duck and stuff. And, um, while I was ducking and stuff, like, so my pants were all the way down, you know, all the way down. You was taking a dump. Yeah, I was taking a shit. So like, I kind of like, backed into it and I kind of fell <laughs> in my own shit, bro. Ooh. And, um, it was all over my ass and, um, I- Like your bare ass? Yeah, my bare, bare ass. Oh! My skin ass. <laughs> And, um, they grabbed some leaves and tried wiping it, but they kind of noticed, and they were laughing and making fun of me about it, and they took they pictures caught you. of it. Yeah, they took pictures of it, too. Wow. That's scar me. That's rough. You ever taken a shit in the shower? Bro, I never have, actually. I was just thinking, because I was in the shower one time, and I really had to take a shit, and, you know, the toilet's right there, but I was telling myself I could shit in here. I could totally just shat and just stomp on this shit. Whatever. It's your turn to ask a question. Yeah, third and final question. What's the most weirdest thing that's ever happened to you? Uh, first thing that comes to mind, man. I don't know if it's the weirdest. Oh, shit. Yeah. Thank you, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, a couple things did. Um, okay. So, I was in kindergarten. Yeah. I was young, and after school, I was on the bus. The bus would take me to daycare after school. Mm -hmm. And there was this kid. He was Mexican. There was a lot of Mexicans. I was, like, the only white one on the bus. Mm -hmm. But the fucking kid was showing me his dick Fuck. on the way home from kindergarten. And we were sitting in the front, so I was kind of, like, worried. And because, like, I didn't want the bus driver to, like, look back and think I was part of it. Like, thinking, you know, something weird was going on. But he was just looking at me, he wasn't even saying anything, he just had his dick out. He would look at his dick, look up at me, look at his dick, look up at me, and there's no talking. Just back and forth showing me his fucking, his penis. <laughs> yeah. This is really fucking weird actually, dude. First sexual encounter. I don't know what he was doing, honestly, it's just the first weirdest thing that came to my mind. It's really weird. <laughs> Alright, here's a question about you. Third and final. About your life. Okay. So picture a really straight and narrow kid, never breaks any rules, on the right path, doesn't do anything bad. Mm -hmm. Pretend that's you to a certain extent. What is the furthest thing from that you've done? Like the worst possible thing. Maybe you didn't get in trouble for it, but the most yeah. like fucked up, furthest, most terrible crime whatever just the worst thing you've done i did break the law and um mm -hmm. i usually don't tell people about this because right, yeah, really that's, that's exact that's what i'm trying to get at right here the yeah. fucking deep and dirty what'd you damn. do damn okay so um it was actually like years ago actually i was around like 10 11 mm -hmm. maybe even 12 and actually no never mind i remember okay i got caught okay i got caught up and um I remember the exact date. It was January 3rd of 2013. And, um, one day, um, you know, I used, I used to, like, smoke weed and, um, do that type of shit. And while I was doing it, um, one day, my dumbass decided to, like, pull it out and, you know, do it inside my house while my, yeah. my you know, my mom and brother were home. Same shit and with me. I, I opened my window and my friend was there and 
he was like, dude, don't do it. Because he was like a really goody goody. He still is. And I was like, nah, man, I'm just going to do it. So I did it. And uh, <laughs> my brother, he was like banging on the door because he could smell it, you know. So I threw it <laughs> out my window. And he was like, um, he was like, it smells like weed. Um, are you smoking? And I'm like, no. He's like, no, it smells like weed. Like, don't lie to me. And I was like, no, no, I promise, you know. And I, I was really scared at the time, to be honest. Because yeah. he, he was pretty buff. Like, he used to do... Like, older than to, you? Oh, yeah, way older than me. He used to, like... Damn, he was like a bodybuilder. He was really shit. ripped. And, um... You know, I got scared and shit. And I was like, dude, I promise I didn't do anything. And he's like, okay, but if I catch you one of these days, I'm gonna beat your ass. And wow. I was like, okay. So, um, a couple Got days passed, and, um, I left my, I was like, hey, um, cause my, uh, my best friend, I consider my cousin, came to pick me up, and, um, he's, he's 21, 22, and he's like, let's go get some food, and I was like, okay, let me go get my phone, and he's like, no, just leave it, it's alright. So I left my phone at home, and my brother went through it, right, and he was going through my phone, and my friend, um, he's, he's in jail right now, he's, he's in there for like three years or something, I don't know. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's in there for a very long time, and, um. Yeah, uh, he was like he texted me like let's match like let's match yeah, or some yeah, shit like that, you know? It. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And my brother saw that and he was oh, so pissed. I bet. And so, you know, like my uh you know, my best friend, my cousin, dropped me off. He was like, Yo, I'll see you tomorrow. I was like, Alright, see you tomorrow. So I go upstairs and uh my mom I remember she was really happy and um, you know, she came, she hugged me and then we went into the room and I could tell my something was wrong with my brother. My mom was like saying something good about me, I forgot what it was. Like I did something good, but uh, she was telling my brother and my my brother's like, Yo, um, get out of the room, I need to talk to Harris. Well my name, you know. And um my mom's like, Okay, is it important? He's like, Yeah, uh, can you please get out of the room? And um, you know, he had my phone in his hand and my mom left and he basically just like he, he was like, what's this shit? And he showed me, and I was like, no, it's nothing, I promise. And I kind of tried lying about it to save my ass. But damn, dude, that was probably one of the worst ass beatings I've got in a uh, very long time. Yeah, and then we, we went to the kid's house, um, who's in jail now. And uh, my brother and sister pulled his dad, and then we basically, we basically got beat the shit out of together. So, wow. um, at least I was That's not crazy. alone, but yeah. it was it was really crazy, dude. That's and, wild. Um, I got my ass beat. Oh, shit. Yeah. Wow. That's the furthest thing you did from, like, that's the worst thing? Yeah? <sighs> yeah, probably, That's crazy. Dude. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I've done the same shit. I got in trouble. I didn't get my ass beat, but it was like, it smells like dope. I was like, well, no, nah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kings and queens, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can leave a like and subscribe to your boy Murphy. And you know what? You know what? I'm I will see you guys. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come Sub the motherfucking yeah. Murphy Come over to my channel. Go check out some of my videos, guys. I post live stories, commentaries, and more. Um, I hope you guys do enjoy. And if you mm -hmm. guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys have any comments, please comment down below. And if you guys are new, I suggest you guys subscribe to, you know, Gilly and me oh, yeah. for more yep. live stories and commentaries. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. Bye. Hi, my name is Mike.